Hello and welcome back to Italy. This is actually my second time in Italy this summer. I spent a week in Milan back in June, check out my summer in Milan vlog, and then I was back in August, this time for a road trip in the region of Abruzzo and the Amalfi Coast. This video is going to be about Abruzzo, then there's gonna be a video about the road trip from Abruzzo to Amalfi, and last but not least, there's gonna be a really fun video about the Amalfi Coast, so subscribe and click the notification bell to stay tuned. We rented a car in Milan and drove all the way to the region of Abruzzo. The drive there takes about five hours. We finally got to our first day on this trip, a bed and breakfast that is part of a winery called Emilio Pepe. <laughs> we went downstairs after we settled in our room and got a glass of wine and sat on the terrace and relaxed before the winery tour that we had later that evening. <laughs> then we had a tour of the winery and the wine cellars. In this winery, they have two types of wine Montepulciano, which is their red wine, and Trebbiano, which is the white wine. Montepulciano and Trebbiano are actually the grape varieties the wines are made from. So, Montepulciano wine is made out of Montepulciano grapes, and Trebbiano wine is made out of Trebbiano grapes. Then we had a full course dinner with a seven glass wine pairing, which means that we had seven glasses of wine each with our dinner. The dinner was really good, but I didn't really film it. The interesting thing about the wine pairing here is that we had the same two wines, Montepulciano and Trebbiano, but from different years. And whenever we got a new glass of wine, we got a chance to taste it side by side with the wine we were drinking before. So they served the next wine before we finished the previous glass so that we could go back and forth between the two for a little bit. It was really cool because even though it was the same wine from the same variety of grape and done with the same process in the same winery, you could really taste the difference between the different years and the different harvests. Our activity for the first half of the day was to drive all the way up a mountain called Gran Sasso, which literally means the big rock because it's so massive. And more specifically, we wanted to go to a place that is called Campo Imperatore or the Emperor's Field. So here it is. Food that is typical of the Abruzzo region is arosticini, which are grilled meat skewers. And there's a place in Campo Imperatore called Ristoro Muchante, this place right here, where you can buy the raw skewers and then rent a grill and just grill and have them here. So that's what we intended to do, but we went there on probably the busiest time of the year in August when everyone in Italy is taking time off and it was busy. <laughs> so my partner went to buy the skewers while I quickly ran to the bathroom. Now, there is one, 
one bathroom stall in this entire place and it was actually surprisingly clean but that's besides the point i spent 40 minutes 40 queuing up for the bathroom and even after that we were still in line to buy the skewers there were still about a hundred people in front of us in line and it started looking like it was going to rain and we were just not feeling it anymore so we decided to leave yeah so we drove an hour and a half in the mountains then queued up for the bathroom for 40 minutes and then left <laughs> which i'm not mad about it didn't ruin our plans or anything we still got to see the place i just thought it was funny we were driving back and there were so many cows and they were all so cute i was starving by that point and there was this little stop with food trucks on our way out but unfortunately we haven't taken cash out yet at that point of the trip so we only had three and a half euros in cash between the two of us <laughs> and they didn't accept cards at the food truck so we kept on driving i noticed that there were so many people flying kites in this region in general is that a thing here We eventually stopped by this restaurant on our way back and had the arrosticini there. I didn't film it from the outside and I actually don't even remember where it was exactly. It was basically the first restaurant we saw on our way back from the mountain. Later in the day, we stopped by a small town called Campli, where they had a sagra going on. Now, a sagra is basically a local festival that often involves food. So there's like a wine festival or a certain cheese festival, like Sagra del Pecorino, or a honey festival, like Sagra del Miele, or a truffle mushroom festival, Sagra del Tartufo, and so on. So in this town, on that day, they were having the Sagra della Porchetta, which is this pork roast and all the trucks you can see here were selling their own pork roast and they also had a competition and they had judges that tried all the porchetta from all the trucks and they announced a winner and there was a trophy i didn't feel much but i found it fascinating it was so fun there was music and a lot of people This was our last morning in the Emilio Pepe winery bed and breakfast. We packed our stuff, had breakfast, I took some drone footage, and then we headed over to a city called Pescara that is also located in the Abruzzo region. We'll be staying in Pescara for the next few days, but we'll be traveling around, so we'll just have that as our base. I wish I could include the audio from the clips that I filmed in the car so that you can hear the music that was playing, but I don't want to be demonetized over that. I just want to let you know that I have a severe case of earworm, which is when you can't get a song out of your head for a while. I'm editing this video now as I'm recording this, and the song that was playing here is Money For Nothing by Dire Straits. And I guarantee you that I'll be randomly singing. We get to move these refrigerators for the foreseeable future. We got to Pescara, settled in our new location. Then I really didn't feel much. We walked around and then had a nice dinner. I thought the restaurant was so cute. It took us such a long time to get a taxi to go home at night.
The following day, we had a relaxed beach day. We rented a couple of sunbeds and chilled there. We had lunch at the restaurant on the beach. I noticed that they had olive trees on the beach, which I thought was really interesting. The food was excellent. The seafood was so fresh and delicious. We had limoncello after the food. Then we went back to the beach for a few more hours. After the beach, we decided to drive around a bit to see a bit more of the city. We didn't have anywhere in particular that we wanted to go or anything specific that we wanted to see. We just wanted to see more of the city, so we did just that. And then we had dinner. Good morning. I am now getting ready to go on a hike. The weather here is beautiful. And tomorrow we are gonna head over to the Amalfi Coast. So exciting. I have never been there and I've been wanting to go for like the past few years, but it never worked out. Here I was listening to Avril Lavigne's debut album, Let Go, from 2002. I love this album. I listen to it start to finish on occasion. It's such a good album, beyond just the songs that were released as singles. It's so good. On our way to the hike, we stopped by a small town and walked around a little bit and had a pastry. Then we had lunch at this cute lodge. 
In the winter, this turns into a ski resort because it snows here. I didn't film it, but lunch was once again really good. We returned to Pescara and had dinner at one of the restaurants on the beach. The food was so good. We ordered a ton of seafood and it was all again so fresh and so tasty. And then we had pasta also with seafood. Something I noticed about restaurants in Pescara specifically is that the music that was playing in every single restaurant we've been to was either like lo-fi or chill acoustic covers of pop songs or even like club songs from the early 2010s literally every single restaurant we've been to had that kind of music and it was so nice and so relaxing like it created such a nice atmosphere but it was so interesting because it was like these very specific covers that were probably kind of on the same spotify playlist that every single restaurant was using <laughs> We packed our stuff and left for the Amalfi Coast. This was actually a very last minute decision. We booked it two days prior to this, so we were still going to have to pay for a few more days at the Pescara place that we rented. We had a few changes in our plans this summer. We were initially planning to take a longer holiday to include the Amalfi Coast, and then we had to cut it shorter and um, we dropped Amalfi Coast from our plans, but then we actually decided that, you know what, we do want to go to the Amalfi Coast this summer. And I was so excited because I have traveled around Italy extensively. I actually really want to make a list of every city and town I've been to because it's in the several dozens, all the way from like Northern Italy to Southern Italy, everywhere. And the Amalfi Coast is one place I always wanted to go and it just never worked out for one reason or another. So this was so exciting for me. Anyway, next video is going to be about a road trip from Abruzzo to the Amalfi Coast. And then the following one is going to be about the Amalfi Coast. Stay tuned, subscribe, click the notification bell. Thanks for watching, see you later.